low. Bear with me, I'm just trying to find myself and hopefully I can see your comments because it's not coming out, which makes it awfully difficult to talk to anyone. Okay, I've got myself. Hmm. Okay, sorry ladies, I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties and I did test it and it was working, so... Alright, let me see. Try again. Oh, goodness me. I can see a few of you watching me. Hello, Susan and Joanne. Now, just bear with me because technical difficulties, which I never have, but it's not letting me... It's not letting me see your comments. So I'm not sure what's going on here with Facebook tonight. Sorry, girls. All right, I'm on there. I'm definitely here. I can see you. This is really annoying. Normally I just have to swipe. All right, I'm wondering if I have to do something different. Okay, looks like I'm just gonna have to give myself a very small screen um, to watch my your comments. Okay, hello Susan, hello Joanne, hello Linda. How are we ladies? Welcome, welcome. Hi Lynn, how are you? All right, I'm going to kick off, going to do a little short um, play tonight. And I don't know what my iPad is doing, but anyway, IT issues at their best. Um, so I might actually just move myself because I'm looking through my camera. There we go. All right, how are we? So tonight I thought I would have a little play with some Lindy sprays um, and in the theme of the month, Fierce Women, I thought I would do a little bit of a um, play and I'll use some of these cute cuttables that Nat has and I think these are fantastic women. Um, so uh, I think that's you, Jackie, is it? Not sure. <laughs> one, of, one of the girls is on there as, as Natalie May. Scrapbooking. So, of course, um, I'm Naomi. Welcome. Um, I'm one of the brand ambassadors for Natalie May Scrapbooking. Um, and, of course, you can follow us on Instagram. Um, the website is www.nataliemay.com.au is where you'll find all your crafty goodness and service with a smile um, and of course if you haven't already joined our facebook group natalie make scrapbook and creative community jump on there girls because there's plenty happening over there and there is monthly um prizes to win so um you just have to join in you that's it's not a competition you just have to join in um to enter to win a 25 dollar voucher each month so i do apologize for the glare I've moved my desk around. I do too, um, Lynn. They're cute, aren't they? I've, I've used them a few times. They're quite good. Sorry, that, that glare is just annoying me. Hopefully it's not annoying you. Hi, Janine. How are you? All right, let's kick off. So tonight, 
um, I have used one of my color cubes to give me some inspiration for my colors. Um, so if you haven't seen these, these are the wonderful color cubes and I'll show you quickly. It's going to look really massive because my screen's so, um, my camera's so close, but what you get in these is the cards and there's uh, 250 in each box and this is volume one and there's volume two and these are for the times that you go stare at your blank page and go I don't know what I'm doing I have no idea I want to do something crafty what am I going to do so I pulled out where I'm up to I haven't used them a lot because sometimes I let my uh my focal points guide my color that I'm using so um that tonight I pulled this out and then I went and found my women who had the color on them and then I've got my sprays so to pick my colors I've got there's my my pinkish and on the back I should show you on the back um it's got I think these match the color pencil um or whatever color you want I don't have color pencils that I use so I'm not a color in um, so I just try and match it to whatever I'm using. And tonight I'm going to use Lindy's. So the mustard is in my girl, um, and so is the raspberry. She's got a bit of the taupe in her, a little bit of green, but I'm not going to worry about that. And then I've grabbed out some Lindy sprays. And someone said to me the other day, oh, I've got Lindy sprays and I don't use them. And I thought, Right, well, I'm going to use my Lindy sprays tonight. So I have grabbed Steam Pump, bleh, Steam Pump Punk, oh God, Sepia, which is my taupe color. Like you don't have to match them completely. And then I've grabbed two different blues for my dark blue and my steel blue. So I've got Penguin Play Periwinkle. Oh my God, peas are not working for me tonight. Hello, Rachel and Tegan. Um, and then I've got Narwhal Navy. Man, it was not a good night to pick Lindy's with those amazing names. All right. So I have, I don't know if anyone follows Nuneka um, from the Lindy's Girls, but she has um, heaps of different avenues to follow. And she did a challenge on the Lindy's page the other day, and it was for a 13-inch 13 centimeter um, circle. I didn't have a 13 centimeter one and I didn't see it until after the fact. So I just used one of my little uh, plates that I have and um, cut it around. So I'm going to use this tonight and I'm going to start with some gesso because we are using Lindy's. And this is just a heavyweight cardstock, but I don't want it to soak completely through. So I'm just using a bit of white gesso. Um, I didn't want to do the gesso beforehand because sometimes I don't use gesso with my Lindy's and sometimes I do. Um, and I use, uh, depending on what I'm using my Lindy's for, if I'm just coloring um, I don't tend to, if I'm using Lindy's to colour, I don't tend to use gesso because I can control how much liquid I'm getting on on there. But when I'm using the sprays or um, I'm using a sprinkle and spritz, or I know I'm going to have a lot of liquid on my page, I definitely use um, gesso just to give it that bit of waterproofing there. Now, I've got two things of water next to me. I'm going to hit that with my heat gun quickly. So I am back on Thursday nights, girls, doing some either posts or live, depending on where life takes me at the time. Um, Sundays was just kicking my butt 
um, and I just wasn't able to get on. So for winter, while the kids have football season, um, I have jumped back on to um, Thursday nights. All right, so I love my little mini paper artsy stamps. I use them all the time, um, so much so that I think I'm going to actually have to put a little container on my desk. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, before I do my sprays, I'm going to create a bit of a resist and I'm going to use some embossing powders. Now you've probably noticed that there's 30% off Tim Holtz embossing powders. Um, I often use Lindy's, but I do love these ones for the color. Um, no one does the embossing glazes like um, Ranger and Tim Holtz. So um, obviously these are in my color palette with the bluish um, colors. So I'm going to do a little bit of the dark first. And before I get too far along, I need a piece of paper to catch my powder. All right, so I'm just going to pop that under here. So I'm going to use my little mini, I don't know what this mini is called. It's EM100. Now these come in and go out really quickly, but you'll always find that there's new minis coming out. And I know there's new minis coming out that I want. Um, I just can't keep up with them. So just because there's not the one that I'm using on the website, find something similar. Oh, that was a bit dirty, but that's okay. So I'm just putting a bit of embossing ink. Now, embossing ink is a it's a clear ink. Doesn't matter that I've got that's a bit dirty. It's a clear ink that takes a while to dry. And the reason we want it to take a while to dry is because now, I shouldn't have stamped on that side because it'll catch. Is because we don't want it to dry quickly. Now, I've got a heater right above my head. So, if it's going to dry quickly, tonight's the night for it because it's just kicked in. I think because Canberra has not got... I don't think the sun came out much today. All right. So, fairly generous with my powder. And I'm just going to tip it. I'm going to flick. So starting there. Now, if you don't have a fancy embossing, I don't know what they're called, the little containers that catch it all, a piece of paper does great. Just fold it in half and scoot the excess back in there. Now, you can get these cool little brushes that... Um, you can wipe your table off. I know Linda has one um, and they're fantastic. I don't have one um, and I get embossing powder everywhere, but it's worth it because you get this awesome effect. So if you haven't used um, embossing powder before, I'm sure most of you that I've seen on here have, but just in case people are watching this later, you need a heat gun. Um, Nat sells a really hot pink one. That's great. Mine's very old. And what I normally do is I normally heat my heat gun up first before I put it on here. Um, and it will set those little crystals. And I'm just going to give it another tap because it's got a bit there. And I always start underneath as well. So it is a very cool colour, Susan. And I should say which it is. It is Prize Ribbon. One of my favourite colours, actually. Although you all know I'm a, I'm a bit of a blues girl. So I'm heating my heat gun up behind me, just pointing it into the air. Hopefully I'm not burning anything behind me. And then all I'm going to do is quickly start underneath, just lightly. And what that does is it starts the heating process underneath so that I don't fly away these. Now it doesn't take too long and I'm only using normal paper here. So I'm just going to follow the stamp, making sure that it all goes glazy. You probably can't see it on the screen because I can't bring it up or I'll burn myself. Sounds 
simple as that. All right, let me bring it up. Now, I have to wait till the... I don't know if you can see the glaze of it or not. Maybe in my... Anyway, it's very glazy, so it's got a shiny thing to it. It has warped my paper a little bit, but um, that's fine. It will fix itself out later. All right, now I'm going to add another stamp. So, and just to clean that off your stamps, just use a baby wipe. It's just, um, it's like a sticky ink, but it's got no color to it. Just keeps really shiny on your stamps. So this one, I'm not, I didn't check if that was on the website. I think it was EM100. I use this one all the time. Um, and I normally get the Seth Apter or the, uh, I can't remember the other ones, but here's another one. And I think this one might not be there anymore, but there's always a script one. Oh, shush, Linda. We're not talking about that. I need to change the color of my nails. <laughs> Um, so this is just a script one and what I'm going to do is do that with the other color and this is one of my favorites, Salvage Patina. Salvage Patina is my absolute favorite green, blue, it's in the middle. So I'm just going to pop. Now I don't exactly want a full impression here and I'm going to pop that next to it. So I'm just going to... No, I'm gonna. No, nope, I've changed my mind. This is live crafting, changing mind in the middle of it. All right, so now I'm making sure I've got that up the right way, although it's not a super big deal if I don't. But that's up the right way. Now I've realized I'm gonna put one girl here and one girl here, right where I've done those, so I need to put a bit in the middle there. So that's why I've changed my mind. So I'm going to pop one bit there. Thank God that was up the right way. And another bit there. That's right, Susan. The Blues Girls are winning. And apparently they are fantastic. Um, but there we go. I didn't realise it was on when I decided to do it live. Anyway. I'm um, bringing back my piece of paper and look at that. So that's not going to affect the other embossing powder that's already there because it's already set. And being that they're in the same tone anyway, it wouldn't really matter if it if they weren't. I could just set it all together. So popping that aside... It's a very, um, it's a very pretty powder. Whoa, nearly lost it. Okay, too easy. And I've barely spilt anything. All right, so 30% off on the website, www.nataliemay.com.au. Um, for your embossing glazes. So that's the prize ribbon and the salvage patina. So I'm just going to set that one. I don't need to heat my gun up too much. It's already hot. Lindy's is that when you're using embossing powders with them, you can use your embossing powders over or underneath. It depends on the look you're going for. Um, if you want to add some white or something to it, you can do it afterwards and it'll bring white in. Um, I want it more of a resist. So I'm just popping down a puppy training pad. Um, if anyone has seen Nat or myself used these before, you know that puppy training pads are essential to helping with the mess. Now, I have to admit the sprays are, um, I think it was Sandy who said, 
Oh, thanks, Tegan. Aren't you a gem? Ninja Warrior. Um, Link Ninja, is that what we call them? Um, so the sprays are much more messy than the Magicals because they're not as controlled, but you don't have to use them as a spray. So I'm going to start with my Periwinkle. Penguin Play Periwinkle. And I will do a little bit of a spray just to show you. But, yeah, I will. So it's not too bad. And that's a nice, beautiful blue. But the other way you can use these is take the lid off and grab your paintbrush. Now, I want a watercolour paintbrush for this. And let me just... My son gave me this gorgeous jar. Paint, paint, I should say it's a pot plant. Um, pot for a plant. Um, oh, yes, that's a good idea, Susan. Old pizza box. It's a little bit... I have tried that. It's a bit hard to... Um, do on a live <laughs> um but it is a good idea to catch the spray going on your ipad and sorry girls i'll bring that down a bit um the he gave me this little pot from preschool that's a, pan, a pot pot plant and my first thought was that's great to hold my brushes so it now holds my paint brushes thankfully he hasn't noticed all right, so I'm just using the Art by Marlene paintbrushes, and this is the number six. And all I do is pop, pop my paintbrush in there. And then I can use it straight out of the bottle like that. So if I want to control it or not have as much mess. So make sure you use, use your sprays, girls. They are a wonderful product. Um, and they're just different to magicals, so you just get a different effect. So I'm not going to do too much of that colour. Alright, so now I'm going to come in with my Narwhal Navy. Blocked spray nozzles. Yes, Tegan, great question. Um, take them off. Put, run them under uh, hot water, um, pull them apart, soak them in hot soapy water and see if that works. Um, it, it has happened to me. Um, one, I could not get it to work. But the great thing is just contact Nat. Um, she does have, I, I often buy spare sprays. Um, you know what sprays are like. They, they can just go weird. Um, depending, it doesn't matter what product is when it's a spray. Um, I'm just adding a little bit of water here. I just want to tone that down a bit. I've taken over my other color. And look at that. You can already see the shimmer in that dark one. Um, so, yes, use um, hot water to clean it out. If it still doesn't work, um, grab a replacement if it's brand new and it doesn't work from the beginning um contact nat she'll she'll hook you up i'm sure um but yeah i i have to say i've got how many is up on my wall there i've got at least one two i've got at least 30 up on my wall and i've had one nozzle block out of all of those um because these are pigment dyes I can just grab my paper towel and pick up a bit of that colour and it should already have dyed the paper underneath. So depending on how much and your shimmer will stick there. Now remembering I've got gesso underneath this so um, it's going to look different than if I didn't have gesso but because I'm using the sprays I've def definitely got... Um, more protection there. So that's definitely enough for that darker one. I am going to dry this now just a little bit 
And just be careful if you're drying on puppy pa uh, puppy training pads. They do fray or burn, but it doesn't bother me. I've got a lifetime supply of them. But if you if you notice what the smell is, it's your puppy training pad disintegrating under the hitch. And the reason I'm drying it off is because I want to create some layers. Oops, you can see the puppy training pad shredding there. And I also want to take a bit of the liquid out of my, um, my background before I add more. Another cool thing that um, I don't always use my heat gun with my magicals or my lindies, but a cool thing that happens with your uh, magicals, I'm just going to dab off the, with your lindies, when you use your heat gun is you get these little marks. Now, if you don't want those little marks, don't use your heat gun, but sometimes they're quite cool. Um, so I'll bring that up. You can start to see a little bit of the shimmer and then we've got this resist here all right so I'm going to bring back in my periwinkle the lighter one I think I've got enough depth there and I'm actually going to take the nozzle out grab my paintbrush and I'm gonna paint a bit of that on up there I just want to be a bit specific as to where I'm doing it. So the difference in using magicals like this and using your sprays like this is that your sprays are already mixed. Once you've given them a bit of a, a shake, they're already mixed, whereas your magicals, you have to mix them. So um, it's a bit like distressed ink and oxides. You normally one or the other. Sometimes you're both. Um, and that's okay. Um, so if you've got sprays, use them. If you don't and you've got magicals, just get them out and play with them. See which ones you like. You might find that you want sprays just to flick, and we're going to flick in a minute. Um, they're great for flicking. So now I'm going to bring in this sepia. This is a bit... This is a bit non-bright for me, girls. You know I, I normally like my brights. Make sure you always give them a good shake because the um, powder can sit in the bottom if they've been sitting there for a while. So just give them a good shake. And this one I'm going to spray. Look at me grunging, grunging it up. And I do like the splatters I'm getting from that. So it's always good um, with your nozzles if you wipe them off after you use it too. That will help with them not blocking. All right, that's looking cool and that's doing some funky um, ness there. Now, before I dry that off, I'm going to bring this deep, deep one back in and use this to flick, flick some, some interest. Oh, I didn't, didn't want that to do that. I'm just going to suck that up. And I might flick a bit of that sepia. Yes, Tegan, I thought you'd be impressed. I didn't mean to be grungy and it's, uh, I'll fix it. <laughs> it's not going to be fully grungy because I'm putting these girls on here. And they've got colour in them beautiful bright colors but that's okay all right so I'm gonna hit that with the heat gun so I you can't see this oh maybe you can but I've got some beautiful little sepia like off sprays in the middle there um, and I'm okay with this now it's got a bit more sepia in it um, but how cool is that with the top three of my colors there I reckon that's pretty cool and gave me a good starting off point I really didn't have to think too much about my colors
see that? I'm following now, I'm getting it like a little river, a riverbed of colour. Sorry about my hands. Now I'm just going to flick that over and dry on the back. Now that it's flattened back out, so when you heat on the front and the back, you can um, it, it can start to straighten itself out. So I'm just going to grab some paper towel, a cleaner paper towel than I've already used, and just dab off that. It's kind of got a bit of a marbled effect um, in there, and it actually does look pretty cool. So up here, I can see I didn't put quite so much gesso. Um, and you can see it on the front that all the mica in the powder has stuck there. And that's the part that's um, come through at the back there. So now that's upside down because I remember that's down there. All right. Thanks, girls. All right. So let's get rid of my puppy training pad. And I've probably fried that one now. I think I've... Oh, no. No, there's clean bits underneath. I can reuse it. <laughs> Pop it aside. All right. So, and I'm just going to hit that a little bit more because those edges are a bit wet still. So that's a, um, I don't think this is a foundations um, thickness, but it's not too far off. And that's pretty good just with a coat of gesso. Um, and I've only got a few spots where I've, I haven't done that correctly. So now how am I going to bring a bit more? So I'm going to put her there and her there somewhere. She's going to kind of come off the page a bit, or maybe I'll swap that. Pop those there. So, oh, that looks like a bit of a world, doesn't it? That's cool. Um, okay, so I want fierce women, which is, are they going to go there? And my quote's going to go in the middle there. All right, so let's bring this together. And I'm going to bring in a bit more of that. I'm going to bring in a bit of pink. Even though my card said raspberry, I'm going to bring in a bit of pink. And I think I'm going to do that with a spray. I was nearly going to use something else, but I won't. I've got lots of pink. Um, yeah, this one. Yep, yeah, this one. All right. So this is Pretty in Pink Pink. And it's a Starburst spray. And it is very pretty. Oh, damn it. I am normally a bit more organised, girls, but, you know, I haven't done a live in a while because kids, kids' sport have been taking over my life. So if you haven't seen, we had lots of people asking if I could do the shoe class. So I've managed to find space and we've popped the, the class up. So if you... Ooh, look at that. And you know what? I might... That is so pretty. All right. I'm just going to put a bit of water there. Oh, no, I'm liking what that's doing there. Okay, let's see what it does. Um, so, yes, I have... We've got a date, 22nd of June. Um, grab your shoes. Uh, and come along and I will show you how to create them. I've got a few orders already. I like how this bit with the water has done a bit of a frayed look in the background and then it's let those colours. So I've got a bit of a purple happening, whereas this is a bit more 
I actually like this side a bit better. Yeah, shoe class. Where on earth in the world do you do an online shoe class? Natalie May Scrapbooking, that's where. All right, and I'm going to pop some down here because we like to do it in threes. Yep. Oh, that is so pretty. Now, I haven't added my mustard into here, so I'm not sure if I'm going to add the mustard in. I don't really have a mustardy spray. And I don't really want my purple and my yellow in a spray to go there. So let's dry that off. And how gorgeous is that um, salvage patina there in amongst that pink? And that pink is really, the Starburst sprays are super duper shimmery. So yeah, girls, if you haven't um, seen the class, um, jump on, order it, order your class. Um, it is a, a no-kick class, so you don't have to wait for anything, but you do need to go and get your shoes. And you can use, of course, Natalie's got amazing um, collage papers, but you can use anything you've got in your stash and you just need some gesso, some gel medium and some uh, gesso, gel medium. What else was on the list? And acrylic paint. Now that dried a lot darker than it looked, didn't it? But I don't know if you can see that shimmer, but that pink has a gorgeous shimmer. And that is looking absolutely amazing. I'm kind of wishing I did this right in a journal page. Anyway, I'm going to stick this in my journal page and I'll show you one I've done earlier. I haven't even been going that long. Excellent. Having a little drink break because I'm doing all the talking. Thank God I got my comments to work because what would I do if I couldn't even see your comments? That would really be like talking to myself. All right, so that's nice and dry, except for that little bit there. I'll just put my paper towel over just to make sure. All right, so we've got a lot of interest happening there. I've got some cool white splatters up there. I've got a bit of shimmer down here happening with this warped bit that really needed more gesso on it. I've got some interest here with my resist of my color and that is looking pretty cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my archival ink and let's start to bring this together. So of course I'm going to bring, and sorry about the camera wobble there. So I have one um, of these that I only use for the black archival ink um, and it doesn't change. My other one will swap between colours um, and I've got the mini one as well, but I have one for the black. So I don't wash it, it doesn't get wet. It just for my black because I use it the most. So just adding a nice black border. Now where's the front? Where's the top there? Yep, I did all that. So that's already starting to bring that together. Oh yes, you do need to use your sprays, Tegan. Oh, Susan, you need to use them as well. Like you could think of that as a card and really it's all it is. I've just cut it into a circle. Um, all right. Now, when I pop these girls on here, which way I said she was going to go down there because I might cut the green off. Actually, I might color the green. Maybe I'll color the green into mustard. Oh, there we go. But I need to anchor her. So I will probably anchor her with a word. And, of course, I'm going to use my Natalie May scrapbooking um, words, which I didn't quite get out. Oops. Um, here we go. I think these are, oh, actually, what if I get my, here we go. Oh, 
Right. I'm grabbing out my, what is this one called? Uh, Cancer Warrior Quotes. But I didn't really want the pink in it. I wonder if I cut out that brave and strong there. Let me see. And the only reason I don't want the pink in it is because it's not quite the same pink. Let's see. I'll keep the ribbon to start with and then I'll cut it off. And I'm not done yet. I'm just seeing where these are going to place. Hmm. No, it's, it's just not right. Don't cut the green. <laughs> Too bad, Tegan. It doesn't go today. I did a whole green page the other day. You should be so proud of me. Okay. Now, um, I think I'm going to do one of these. Um, don't be afraid to lose people. Be afraid of losing yourself by trying to please people around you. I like that one. Don't change who you are. Oh, that's the same thing in a different font. Um, I also like the snarky ones or the what I call them, the dad jokes. I love a good dad joke. Um, so these are great. Okay. Trying to savor my, my quotes. So if you haven't noticed... I think Lou has gone crazy and put extra stuff. I'm guessing it was Lou. Uh, put um, extra stuff in the clearance cart. And that is not cut very straight at all. I can't, I'm, I'm happy to do wonky, but that's ridiculous. Um, so hop on and have a look because I reckon there will be some... There was a lot of Art by Marlene stuff in, and if you didn't grab yourself um, some were at the retreat, I reckon there's some left. And there'll be one-off things that Nat doesn't want to put one thing on the shelf. So 30% off is fantastic. All right, that's good enough. Okay, so let's see if I can anchor her there, but I also still need to bring a bit of depth, a bit of light back in. It must be Lou. <laughs> I'm right. All right, so yeah, no, I need to cut that. So I will go. Don't be afraid to lose people. And if I yank that over here a bit, she can be sitting on that. But I might add some stamping in there in, instead of that because I'm not sure that that's, that's fitting. Be afraid of losing yourself by trying to please everyone around you. Mm, I think I might go all the way in the middle. Have you ever stuck a quote on when you've cut it up and then realised that you've stuck it on wrong? I've done that. Okay, I'm just moving these up a little. Okay, that's where that's going to go. And I'm bringing in um, my balance with my white here. She's got a bit of white in her and she's got a bit of white in her, but I still need more. So, popping that off there. Puppy training mat can go. I haven't even used one stencil and look at my, um, look how good my background is without a stencil. This is like unheard of girls. So shall I get out a stencil? <laughs> no, I'm not going to get out a stencil. I'm going to use some mark making. Um, what am I going to use? Maybe some dots. Yes, let's use some Eclairs dots because it's sitting on my on my desk. Uh, no, I'm not going to use Eclairs dots. I'm going to use 
Claire's other stamp, which is Shoot for the Stars. Um, mm, no, changed my mind again. I'm going to use Nuts. Um, don't overthink it stamp. The stamp that literally sits on my desk. I actually have, if you don't have this stamp, get it because it's amazing. But I actually have to say to myself, no, Naomi, you can't use this stamp because I use it all the time. So I'm just going to grab some paper towel so I can off stamp to make sure that I don't put my writing up the wrong way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this stamp to create my little platform over here for her. And I'm just going to off stamp and create a bit of a cluster. And then I'm going to do a little bit up the top here. And a little bit down the bottom here. Here we go. Stick it back on my desk. All right, we still need to add that white in, don't we? So what are we going to do with the white? We're going to do some white splatters, that's for sure. So a little tip, I use that stamp more than any other in my classroom. Yeah, me too. Um, so a little tip with white on magicals or lindies, any lindies, um, sprays or magicals, is that it's going to change colour. So using gesso, it's going to change colour. Using um, a white lindies, Mm, ooh, wait on, wait on a minute. I'm changing my mind again. Let's see. Let me get my white lindies out. Okay. Let's see how we go with this. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I've got a sidewalk chalk. So it is not going to give me a full-on white because it's on the other pigment. But it's going to give me some white. And that's what I'm after. And I'm not getting that puppy training pad back out. <laughs> all right. So all I'm going to do is use my nozzle. Mm. So it's very chalky. It is creating. This must be how they make. Um. Oh, look what that's doing. That's so cool. So it's it's not adding white. This is a chalky white, but it's not adding white to my page, which is what I wanted, but it's definitely adding some cool interest. It is changing all of... Oh, I need to stop. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, you can. Um, yeah, a white Lindy's. So this is the, it's from the flat Fabio. So there's no, um, there's no shimmer to it. But as that is sitting there, let me bring it up and see if you can see. It's most prominent here and over here. And it is doing something cool. All on its own. And it's starting to do it down here too as it's sitting there. So it is actually starting to, it's bringing up the colour and pushing it to the side a little bit. So it is actually bringing in a bit of de uh, a bit of balance to my page. That looks, the, I don't know if you girls can see that, but it's so mesmerising on the <laughs> to look at. I might add a little bit over here actually. Oh no, it won't matter because she's going to be covered. I am going to bring in some other white though. We'll do that after. All right, I'm going to move this on so you're not sitting here literally watching paint dry. All
So I often mix my uh, Lindy's flats and the shimmer ones together all the time. Um, I mean, it does eventually give a shimmer to most of it, but you'll find that no two Lindy's are the same. So if that's the colour that you're after and you don't care about the shimmer or not, then um, definitely use it. It doesn't matter. You, you definitely can combine them. I am totally mesmerised by this background. It, um, I, I've shocked myself. I don't know if you girls can see that in the... Let me ring it up a little bit more. I've definitely got my my white bits in there. So that's actually really cool, that chalky white. All right, let's finish this off. So let me stick my girls down. Now, what glue have I got handy? My art glitter glue. So... Let me pop this one. I can't remember if I've opened this or not. I think I did. Oh, thanks, Alana. I am too. It's it's absolutely beautiful. Not sure what's going on here with my glue. I think this is the one I took to the retreat maybe it didn't travel well I'll just grab a pin so girls have a play if you've got your lindies and you've got sprays or you don't have sprays and you are interested in sprays or make up some magicals um, you cannot make up magicals and pop them into bottles they're not made they're not made to do that um, it's I'd I, don't pretend to even know the um, logistics of the magic that is Lindy's, um, but they're not. There's a different formula for the. Sorry, concentrating. There's definitely a different formula for what's in the sprays to what the magicals. Sorry, Tegan, she's losing most of her green there, but I might have to go over it. So these are Nat's Cuttables, um, these girls. I am not can't remember what they're called. Something women. Um, I've had them for ages. And I do a little thing with my Cuttables, um, my Nat May Cuttables. And I cut, it, sometimes I just want to, I'm not sure what I want to do. And I just sit there cutting out my Cuttables. And these are old ones. Um, there's some Cheshire cats in there. Of course, I've got. Alice in Wonderland galore, so if you love Alice like me. And I just cut them up, and then I can easily pull out Mod Girls. That's the ones. Um, I can easily pull out of here without having to do my fussy cutting. Um, good thing to do if you're traveling, if you like fussy cutting. I don't like fussy cutting, but some days, oopsie, my glue is just, I must have given it too much love. Um... Yeah, if you if you're a tra if you're a traveler and you like to um, do fussy cutting, my mum does knitting when she travels in the car, but that's definitely not what I would be doing. Right, I'm just gonna make sure she's most of hers on the page. Just holding that down for a little bit. So, girls, have a look at the Natalie May Creative Community and have a look at our monthly challenges. Um, you are not in competition with each other. All you have to do to go into the draw to win a $25 voucher is to follow the instructions. And the instructions are uh, whatever the theme is. And this month it is Fierce Girls. Um and also use one item from Natalie May Scrapbooking. So it doesn't have to be your focal point, although you'll find plenty of amazing focal points um, for the theme, the, the monthly challenge. 
um, but it can be something that you've already got um, as long as you've got one main product that has come from Nellie Mae Scrapbooking. Now, don't be afraid to lose people. Sorry, I have to... Oh, did you, Tegan? Excellent. So all you have to do to go into the drawer is to pop it up on the Nellie Mae Creative Community uh, page. Um, and I'm going to cut this one in half as well. I've just decided. And make sure you write hashtag NMS June 24 or whatever month it is. You just got to do the hashtag so that we can, uh, Nat can find it when she's doing the draw. She'll put everyone who enters into the draw and it is drawn at random. Don't be afraid to lose people. Be afraid of losing yourself. Now we're on the final stages here, girls, and it's nearly at my favorite part. Although that was super cool with that background. I'm going to have to do that again. Lose yourself by trying to please. I nearly did my quote wrong. Um, and that's bringing it all together, adding on little things that uh, make a big difference to your page. Now she's quite bright for um, the background I've made. So I might have to bring in a bit more pink. So maybe I'll do that by Oh, Susan, you need to get it out of your head and onto a page, my friend. <laughs> I have lots in my head. Sometimes it keeps me up at night. All right. So I've half glued that down to my paper towel. So I'm just going to snip this off and that as well. Now, what am I going to do with this circle, you say? Well, let me show you one I prepared earlier. And I'm not done with that yet. I've only been going an hour, so I'm not too bad. The pink reminds me of my mum. <laughs> yeah, it does a bit, doesn't it? Before she started to let herself go naturally grey. So, yeah, it does, Tegan. Um, right, what, are, what am I going to do with this? So, I have my Art by Marlene Artist Size Journal. And... Um, you're doing your ATCs and your birthday cards. Oh, I've done my ATCs and I use magicals. Um, so I, I'd have to pull my whole um, camera up to show you this. So I'm just going to pull the page out and pop it in there. I bought an abundance of black cardstock. Um, if, oh, so black pages for these uh, by Marlene um, journals. And black's hard. Like I use black a fair bit, but I've decided that I'm going to stick things in onto black. So here's one I did before. Very similar style, different colors. But this one I used some rub-ons, um, some in there. And again, Nat's cuttables and just different colors, different stamps. And just stuck it in there with a bit of a white border. So pretty cool art journal page. And I've just left it nice and simple. So easy to stick into one of those black pages. Or if you've got the Dilutions, um, the one with all the different colour pages, that would be an easy one to stick it into as well. Um, just makes it something different. And it's a little bit different working on a circle than it is on a square. So just something different for your journal to, you know, flick that page and go, oh, what has she done there? That's a bit different. All right, so... Pink. What am I going to add with a bit of pink? There's... Hmm. All right. Let me find... I think I'm going to use a stencil. Look out. I'm going to use a little stencil to add a little bit of pink on. All right. 
And I'm going to use one of my go-to Natalie May scrapbooking stencils. And I'm going to use the Just Cool Mark stencil. And I'm going to add um, a couple of these little crosses. And I'm going to grab that pink is between Ballet and Kissy for Art by Marlene. Let me see that. That's got glue on it. So let's bring that pink into my page. And I'll start with Kissy. Actually, you know what? I'm going to add Kissy. And, and girls, feel free. Like, mix mix your paints up. Like, I'm using Art by Marlene with, with Magicals. Like, there's no rules. If I could find it. Here we go. Sorry, I ran out of ballet. So I have to get a new one. All right, so I'm going to do both there. Now, how I'm going to put that on is I'm going to grab a sponge or half a sponge, and I'm just going to dab this in both colours. And I'm going to dab it off so it's not super juicy. And I'm going to add... I'm making sure I'm not getting her head... Dab, 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 dab. So because this is acrylic paint going over the top of Lindy's, it won't really, and I'm doing it with a, a sponge, it's not going to reactivate the Lindy's. Yes, that's working. Okay, so that pink is matching that and it's bringing that together. I'm going to add a little bit down here as well. And then maybe a bit up in behind her head because I'm keeping with my threes. All right. So I haven't got a lot of paint on there. And I'm kind of getting a bit of a two-tone look with these little crosses because I'm dipping into both of those colours together. But I'm not actually blending them. Oh, yes, that looks super cool. Um, and this is going to help me bring in more white as well in a second. And then I'm going to go up here because I'm keeping it in threes. My husband must be watching the state of the girls' state of origin because I don't think there's any other football on. I can hear a whistle. All right. Oh, one more bit there. There's nearly nothing left in my... Yep. I love that. That worked really well. So just go with the flow. This is why I like to do my lives, girls, because I like to see you to see me um, change my mind and... You know, I don't always have a plan. Today's plan was I'm I'm doing something with women and I'm using that colour scheme. So that's as far as I got. And I'm a cleaner of stencils, so sorry you have to watch me do that. Um, all right, let's, and I'm a cleaner of things. All right, let's bring this together now. So black pen, making sure that that's all dry. So let's enhance this quote and I'm going to have to do that on the side making sure that glue's dry all right so I'm just going to do a very loose scribbly border And my black pen does go over that um, embossing powder. It's bumpy, but it goes over there. All right. Now, um, so that's that. 
I am going to uh, the white pen. Now I ruined one of my white pens the other day and I reckon it's this one. So what I'm going to do now is go round. Oh no, it's not this one. I'm going to go around these crosses to help bring a bit of that white in as well. So that is just Cool Marks um, stencil that I know Nat has sold out of several times, but I love it. Love, love, love it. So who else is crafting along? I know, well, Susan is um, and Tegan is. Anyone else? I'm guessing Linda probably is. Yeah, that's perfect. And when I pop this into my journal with the black and the white doodling border around it, that will just bring that all together. Oh, I think there's one there. There's not, there is now. Yep, I love that. Now, I want to bring a little bit more depth in with a Stabilo All. And let me see if I can find one that's a little bit bigger than... I've got one that's about this big. You're fussy cutting, Linda. <laughs> it's kind of, I, I often fussy cut while I'm watching things. Um, it, it is nice to watch something in the background. I am watching The Summit at the moment. Um, I'm not up to date, but mum told me about, uh, I love Survivor, but she said, oh, you should watch The Summit. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Anyway, I started watching it. Now I'm hooked. So I'm only doing this on that, on one side of her, the girls. Um, oh, man, I'm having lots of hotties today. I'm trying to think what else I can, um, I'm, I'm just activating that Stabilo with my pen, uh, watercolour pen. Eric Neck, Eric Netflix is awesome. Oh, okay. I'm guessing that's on Netflix. And that's just helping with that, um, shelf there for her to sit on. Um, yeah, I'm trying to work out what I'm going to um, collage and paint next in the house. What canvassy thing I can grab. I'm thinking of doing a, getting a canvas handbag and giving myself a new coloured handbag. Yeah. Okay, cool, Linda. Thank you. I like a good recommendation. All right. So I think the very last thing I want to do is add a little bit of black um, dots. Yep, I'm going to use my, uh, I'm going to use my Life of Colour pens. And I've got two different sizes. Just going to add a little bit, oh. uh, just in here, I think. here. 
I could have used Claire's Dotty stamp. That would have been quicker. Um, but I do like to sometimes just draw with my pens. It's a bit therapeutical sometimes. And you've got to use your things, don't you? All right. And then just some little tiny dots with my smaller one. All right, I think, oh, hello, Tina. How are you, lovely? You've just caught me. I'm just about to finish up. So let me just recap what we've done to create this. Um, so we have gessoed our thick cardstock. I, th I think it's like a 250 GSM. It's not super duper thick and it's not mixed media. It's just thick cardstock. Um, so we've gessoed. We have then used some of our Distress Embossing Glazes in Prize Ribbon and Salvage Patina. And we've put some marks here with some um, Paper Artsy Stamps. And then we've put the script one through there with the Salvage Patina. We've then used our Lindy Sprays with the... Penguin Play Periwinkle and the Narwhal Navy sprayed on there with, of course, our Steampunk Sepia. And then I used the nozzle of the Pretty in Pink Pink to flick on some pink to bring this Mod Girls, Natalie will make scrapbooking cuttables Mod Girls, to bring that pink in. We then... Um, did a bit of stamping over here and here with the Nat May Won't Let You Down stamp. Then we added some Art by Marlene acrylic paint over the top here. Oh, and I did do the sidewalk, sidewalk chalk Lindy's Flat White Spray to create this worldly, amazing night. I feel like I need to do some sort of moon mist night shadow thing with these three like they've been crazy your life has been i bet your life has been busy uh tina no rain seven lamps to feed in a few years oh hopefully the rain's coming darling because yeah susan i i thought sydney had a bit of rain we've had a little bit in canberra so i'm hoping that it comes across to you we'll send it your way my friend um so, again, we've used cuttable uh, quotes from Natalie May. I'm not sure uh, which one that is, but I feel like it's a... Uh, nah, not even going to try. Um, and then finished off with some doodling. So, girls, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I'll hopefully be back next Thursday. Um, I'll have to look at my diary first and t see what the kids have got got me doing um next thursday if you've got any ideas of what you'd like me to show you um please pop them in the comments on this live i would love um some ideas or what you want to see but definitely someone was asking me about lindy sprays and that they don't use them so i want to show you how else you can use them other than sprays and how easy they are so make sure you use your things girls i will pop this into my journal and put a little doodle around, doodle, a little doodle, a doodle border around there. Tina, don't laugh. I know you're laughing. Um, and I'll take a picture and pop it up on the page. So thanks, girls, for watching. Enjoy your evening. And let's hope that the New South Wales Blues girls have done better than the boys did last night. Thank you, lovely. Thank you, Tina. <laughs> Bye, girls. Thanks, Joanne.